All right, guys. So now that we've done the actual C, we're gonna be making the um, armrest. So what I've done here, I've just duplicated these two. I mean, I've duplicated this guy and then made him like kind of like switched it so I can have a rough idea on how I can make the armrest. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So you can see how it's shaped. It's got a funny shape. Horrible at these. Trust me, I really do suck at armrests, and it's not going to be the best one you've ever seen, but I'm sure you guys can make an amazing armrest. So, the way I make my armrest is actually by, like, cutting them in half. So, if you're going to make this bit, you're going to cut it in half, just like that. I know my annotation's not good, but that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, like, cut it in half, okay. Then same for the, not actually no, for this bit, um, I'm just going to make the shape directly, which is a bit like this. Funny shape, reminds you of something really weird, but don't think of that. <laughs> Let's get rid of the annotations. So simply what we're going to do, the shape's like this. And what you can actually do is, use the 3D cursor, place it here, add a... Um, cube scale it down and then you can you do what we usually do with planes is to select the four vertices and kind of like model it like this Sorry, recording yeah, yeah. Model it. and that way you can get a rough that's a rough like um, idea on how to make your plane I'm not, sorry, not your plane, your armrest. So that's what we're gonna do. It's a pretty good technique to do us to like um, use, and it doesn't exactly have to be like this. It can be, um, it can be any way you like, but that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so now we've got like the most basic, um, the most basic shape. What I'm gonna do is take um this bit i mean sorry this yeah just have a look at this bit and then i'm gonna curve one i'm gonna go in edges and curve um actually go in vertices go in the x-ray and do that so that way you can see how this bit this bit is um this bit kind of beveled and then goes back in so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna um add another loop cut in the middle then we're gonna bevel this actually yeah so don't bevel it for actually select these two take them back bevel this bit it looks smooth. You can take it more back if you want, which I'm going to do right now. G, and then get this back here. That look looks pretty decent. I'll just move it. Again, we're going to bend. Yeah, so, okay, that looks fine. You can add another loop cut to the side and bevel that as well if you want to do that. I'm going to do it. Yeah, okay. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that looks okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two vertices, then bevel this guy. It looks get smooth. Then you can see here there's a bit of a problem. So just bevel here, bevel this here as well. So it looks smooth and, smooth and good. Same with this. Don't have to do it with everyone, just the ones that think needs a bit more work. So we've done that. Then from the top actually it's not that um fat, so just make this not. Then go into the edge ed go into your edges and select the boundary. Like that. And then you can bevel this, 
So it looks like this, looks smooth. Looks nice, and then same here. I'm really sorry about the armrest. I'm, I really do hate doing the armrest. It's really boring and horrible. But it is what it is. Shift, hold, alt. Oh god. Right, that. that. Okay, we've got the. See if you've selected anything else. No, just that. And then. Bevel. Oh, okay, we've selected something else. This guy. Sneaky. Bevel. Oh, for God's sake. Select something else that we shouldn't have. Uh, this looks okay. There we go. Go, yeah, we've got a pretty okay looking hand wrist. You can see there's some errors, but you guys can fix that. And we're making it a mesh. And now, basically, what you want to do is just select the top bit. So, you see. Actually, it's face. You go into face mode and you select the top bit any way you like. Just going to select it to here. Right click section. It's okay. Of course, the handrest is horrible. You guys are going to have to do a lot of work on this. I just gonna show you how to get a basic idea gotta get rid of um, these annotations very annoying now if okay so now that we've got this basic hand rest we can continue with um, this guy so again what I'm gonna do here is cut it in half so Uh, again, insert a cube, let's go it down, let's go smooth this bit out, oh my god, literally, this is the most annoying bit ever, sorry about this, the hand wrist is not done yet, alright, so, so like this and this, it doesn't disrupt, never mind, just, just leave it to be honest, um, you guys are going to have to do work on this, I literally can't find a way to do this. But as long as you guys get the idea of how to make the hand wrist, otherwise I can make another video explaining it better. So, let's get this here, and then I want to bevel the sides. So what I'm going to do, bevel them. Like that. Yep. I'm gonna make the whole thing a bit small. They are usually very tiny. Like that. I guess that's how it is. You can rotate it a bit if you need to, but I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Okay, then go into your vertices and take these two. And then push it out. Same with this guy. Put it in. So we're kind of like, what I'm doing here is, just gonna use the annotate mirror again. I'm cutting this in half, so I'm gonna do this bit first, like that. And then the next, I'm gonna do that bit. If you guys get what I'm trying to do. You can do it another way. You can just use it as a whole. You can just do the mesh as a whole, but the thing is, out of everything, I hate the hands the most because usually I prefer doing like seats which have these, like ha like hand wrists which have which look like cubes. So they're very easy to do. They're incredibly easy, but yeah, I've just chosen this seat for now. So okay, we're gonna continue. Let's do that and bevel these guys again. Actually, what you can do is bevel this first, put this guy out, make sure it's okay from every side, then 
we can put this in here like that. Actually, mm, this is a bit tricky. I can bevel this out right now like that, but then that's going to create an issue. So, ah, okay. What you can do is you can go into edge mode, click select this edge. Actually, go into faces, select this face, and you can extrude it. So, learning something new. So, extrusion is basic. It's the, it's very easy. Just scale this up a bit first. So, make sure, yeah, scale it up. Then you can click E, and it extrudes this. Then you can just bring this up here. Fix the rotation. Boom. Now, if you try using this get a nice little curve yay didn't know that worked let's see how this looks like it looks okay it looks decent the it's not the best but it's not the worst now you can again select the edges one two three and four then just bring it down i select this one as well actually So like these down, so get this down. In fact, just get this guy as well. Sorry about this. Ah. Oh. There we go. Let's bring the, them down. Yeah, bring them down. Bring this guy down, individual, like, just like that. Okay, um, we've got the shape. Somewhat got the shape, I guess. Now, all there's left to do is beveling and some... Um, actually, not even some, a lot of detail, which you guys are going to do, because I'm going to have a very hard time doing this detail. All right, first of all, no. So yeah, then select this face here and then just bevel this. Don't know why that's happening. That looks all right. And again, go to edges, select the edges here. Then we go to the edges. Top is this bit. There you go. Just bevel this tiny bit. Never mind, don't bevel this bit. Just bevel these guys. Like that, and that is a very horrible looking. Right, and you can see how there's a color change. So in Roblox, you can have to separate this. So again, you can add a loop cut here, like that. Then go into faces. And actually go into X-ray this time and go in front view. That actually gives the mind space a pretty good thing. Go here in front view and use the rotation to fix the mesh. So it looks good. So it looks um looks okay. Go in faces here and in fact to be honest, just select it like that. Let's do the selection, to be honest, you guys are going to do the selection, I can't, this is a bit hard. And then we've got our really weird looking <laughs> feet, uh, hand wrist, and just place it over here, kind of like that. And then just put it over here so it's in the correct place, and there we go, I guess. There's our um, very interesting looking hand wrist. And to get the other side, just basically need to separate this. Uh, so, I mean, duplicate, so Shift D. And boom. There we are. We've got a very interesting seat. We've got a good, nice looking seat. It's not that bad, it's not the worst. 
Okay, so we've done this bit. Now we all that's left is the legs. The legs are just, to be honest, you can select this bit. You can select this guy here. And actually, to be honest, the legs is just getting a mesh. The cube, cube down, make it thin. So I make it thin from here. Scale it up like that, so you can see how it's designed. But here, like that. Uh, right, we've done that. Now you can see how it again has a weird turn. What you can do is just um, bevel the bit. Just uh, use the uh, make a loop cut here. Make the loop cut and then select this bit. Go and face it and select this bit and then extrude it here. Again, then you can select and make another loop cut. Make it top and make it go up here. Kind of like that. There we go. Um, you can see how the thickness is not well. It's not done. It's uh, not. It's not even. So select this face and the one here. Select this like that. Do that. Then again, this guy. Not properly. Now all that is left is to bevel this, so use the edges here. Just bevel these. Okay, no, not. <laughs> all right, this is a bit. Okay, basically, so separate this bit using faces. Separate the whole um, mesh like that. Right click. Have a look kind of here. Oh, okay. Uh, just, just make this a bit thin so it doesn't matter for my mesh. Then here, all you have to do is bevel this guy tiny bit. And to be honest, that's a pretty basic seat right there. This is not the easiest bit. All you have to do is select this, duplicate, shift D, select that, and move it like here. Just got another pretty basic looking um just got a pretty basic looking stand. See how it's meant to be curved and joined, so we're gonna do that as well. Right, okay, so we don't need this. We don't need this faces and just select all of that. Oh, delete faces. Same with this guy. Faces, and then you can just uh, premiere and first off, just uh, can you can just you can do that? Yeah. So basically, go and. Y and select these three vertices and extrude it out here like that. Roughly fits here. Okay. And here, actually, yeah, now we're gonna learn about the learn about something called the magnet. Let's see how long this is. Okay. The magnet is another pretty good thing. Um you can literally snap the vertices to another vertex, so Turn this on, click here, and then click vertex. Then select each and every vertice, and you can snap it to this like that. How cool is that? Okay, we've got that. Now, again, quickly use the edges to bevel out. All right, and 
yeah, that, and then at last you can bevel out this edge. With that edge, like that. And yeah, I mean, that's the basically, I, I, the, 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 the bit here, I'm just going to scale this down, to be honest, uh, scale this down, something like that, yeah, do that, and bottom bit looks pretty weird, but that's how you can make a seat for a Roblox plane, I guess, um, so yeah, you guys might have to just do more work, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this tutorial, it's a bit, it's a bit rusty because I've been sick and all and I have a lot of schoolwork to ca be catching on because of the amount of days I've missed school. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. I will make another part to this um, of how to make another seat. Don't worry and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.